Hi, my name is Pauline Wanjiko, a nurse and a trainer at Gokia Institute. January is a cervical cancer awareness month. So today we are going to learn more about uh, cervical cancer, the signs and symptoms, the risk factors, and how to prevent ourselves from getting cervical cancer. So let's start with what is cancer. Cancer is when you have abnormal growth of cells. And so if it happens in cervix, you will have cervical cancer. Cervix is located below the uterus and slightly above the vagina. So let's see the risk factors of, the, of getting cervical cancer. These are things that predispose us to getting cervical cancer. One, it is having a history of human papilloma virus infections. Two, is have a smoking. Three, it is engaging in sexual activity at an early age. Four, is um, use of hormonal family planning methods. The, the fifth point, immunosuppression. This is when uh, the immunity is not able to protect the body from the pathogens. So let's look at the signs and symptoms of cervical cancer. First and foremost, when one experiences pain during sexual intercourse, bleeding after sexual intercourse, and swelling of the legs, uh, having a persistent pain in the legs, uh, lower back, and on the pelvic bone, which is around the hips. And then we have unintentional weight loss. Another sign and, sim sign and symptom, it is when uh, we have abnormal vaginal bleeding, this occurs especially after menopause and also the bleeding that occurs in between the menstrual cycle. So in case you experience these signs and symptoms, you need to see a doctor. So if one is diagnosed with cancer, what are the modes of treatment that we have? The first mode of uh, treatment for cancer, it is surgery where the cancerous tissue is removed. But this one is only uh, efficient during the first stage of first or the second stage cancer. We have another mode of treatment which is chemotherapy where I use medications through the veins to kill the cancerous tissues. Also the that type of uh, treatment is radiotherapy where we use high density, high intensity UV rays to kill the cancerous tissues. We have other modes but those are the three main modes of treatment. So how do we prevent ourselves from getting the cervical cancer? One is having one sexual partner. Number two, it is going for screening. Number three, it is a vaccination. So this vaccine is given to girls from the age of 9 to 14 years who have not yet engaged in sexual activity. Generally, cervical cancer is sexually transmitted. So we urge all women to regularly go for screening and watch out for the above symptoms and go for medical checkup.